once proclaimed the invention of the century. Automobiles have changed our lives profoundly. produce deadly exhaust, which pollutes the very air that we breathe. Chinese roads that were once filled with bikes have been replaced by highways packed with gas fuming cars. Now, 99% of China's urban population inhales poisonous air. Automobiles are the leading source of air pollution in major Chinese cities. If something isn't done to reduce the number of cars or the amount of carbon emission, the environment won't be able to sustain humans any longer. Even when armed with this knowledge, the government is not doing enough to limit the number of cars. In urban areas, the concentration of automobiles is increasing at an astonishing rate. Five million Chinese graduate driving schools every year, and 14,195 new cars join the existing fleet every day. It is estimated that the number of cars in China will hit 140 million by 2020. The Chinese government must do something to curb this rate of increase and try to limit the number of cars on the road. There are a few laws and ideals the government can enforce or encourage to help solve this problem. There are three different types of solutions. One, improving the car. Two, limiting the number of cars. And three, changing the people's ideas. For step one, the government should encourage the use of hybrid cars because they reduce toxic emissions by as much as 90%. They emit fewer greenhouse gases and have improved fuel efficiency. Step two, one method is to auction off license plates like in Shanghai. In June 2004, 20,000 people bid for 6,233 available license plates. This limits the number of new cars each month to the amount of license plates scrapped in the previous month. Another method is to only allow license plates ending in odd numbers to drive on odd days and vice versa for even days. This will cut the amount of cars on the road in half and reduce pollution caused by heavy traffic. A third method is to increase prices by raising taxes on cars, or by making buyers pay a fee every year for each automobile they own. This would decrease both the quantity of cars bought and produced. For step three, the government should change the ideals of the people. Right now, they believe that owning a car proves economic well-being, and this is a main source of the problem. The government should instead encourage people to use other means of transportation. By implementing these steps, the government should be able to reduce, if not fix, the automobile portion of the air pollution problem in China. Unless the central government enforces rules and regulations very soon at the local level, the environment will be too damaged for us to be able to do anything about it. Already, 750,000 Chinese die prematurely every year because of air pollution. Now, in some parts of China, it's almost impossible to see the sun. Soon enough, it'll disappear altogether. <laughs>